And welcome back to Stormworks Basics. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over a controversial subject. We're going to go over the pivot glitch. So, um, you know, a little disclaimer here. Glitches are abusing game physics to do certain things. And so at any point, the devs could patch these out. So keep that in mind that if you use a glitch, that it could very well be patched out by the devs. So the pivot glitch is used to increase buoyancy. And so let's uh, quickly go over that. So we're going to go in here, and uh, those of us who do use this will often use it to try to increase um, the buoyancy of a vehicle and make it more realistic. So it's a way to try to, you know, get it to be more realistic. Um, some people use this to um, do some things like fantasy builds. And so first thing we'll do is we'll start with just a buoyant volume here. So I'm going to make it, as you see, I'm trying to keep it square in the grid lines here. I'll go up one more. And uh, so I'm going to make just a square. And so this is going to show off how the buoyancy works in game. And so we're going to start with just a square. Now, in real life and in game, this will float. And so the next thing I'm going to do is on the side of this cube here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a color gradient. So I'm going to start with red. And uh, we'll go up the color gradient here. And what that will allow me to do is when this is sitting in the water, I can see what color is at the water line, and that will tell me if we're actually floating higher or lower. And so just a quick, easy little trick to be able to see where we're actually at in the water. All right, so there we are. So we have our color gradient, and so it's open. So let's go ahead and we'll turn on the world view. I'll lower this down in the water. So it's just touching the water. This way it doesn't drop in the water because I don't want that to fill up with water. Now, in real life, this is like a pot um, floating in your sink. This will float, but it will not float very well in game, as you can see. Now, the water inside is actually not in there. It's just um, visually in there. But as you can see, we're floating about the um, lime green, as you see it stabilized. So right about lime green and yellow. Now let's go ahead and let's close that volume. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a block and we'll close it. So this is how you want to do buoyancy in Stormworks. Enclosed volumes give you more buoyancy and now as you can see right before we were right there at that yellow line now we're down here so we've gained quite a bit of buoyancy. Now let's do the pivot glitch. So the pivot glitch is very simple. You want to get a pivot, compact robotic pivot, and you want to place them. Now it's good to place them low again you're going to be adding buoyancy to the bottom and the reason this works is the way Stormworks is calculating physics, the more bodies you have, it's giving you more buoyancy. And so by what I mean by bodies, if you go to the merge view and you look, you see the different colors, those are your different bodies. So the red one's always your main body and these are all your different bodies. So if you notice, we have all these different bodies. So now it's like, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have uh, 19 bodies, including the box. So now let's go ahead and spawn that. And as you can see, we're sitting a little bit higher, but not much. So you see, we do get some benefit out of it. So we're about, let's see, where are we at? Let's zoom exactly in there and see. So we're right about, right about the bottom of this red block here. Now let's take them out. And so you see we're a little bit higher in the water, or we're a little bit lower in the water. So we're right there with the pivot glitch, and we're right there with the, out the pivot glitch. So you see it adds some buoyancy now. For example, something like a huge tanker. I have um, a large tanker that I still can't hold as much oil as the real one does. It's a, it's a um, scale model of the real one. It's actually two scale of the real one. And I can't get as much buoyancy, even with, I think I have 48 pivots in there. So the pivot glitch does, as you can see, give you more buoyancy. But it's always best to um, try to do it without that. Now, let's try something else here. So let's go in the workbench. All right, so um, we were right about, let me, let me uh, do this again. Let's spawn it really quick. So this has no pivots in it. All right, so let's see where it kind of settles. Right around the bottom of the orange. So it's right about here is where it is. 
So we're just going to paint something on there. So we'll paint a black dot right where it's where the pivot. So that's without any pivots. All right. And so now let's try something different. Let's go ahead and let's delete out the bottom. Let's go ahead and we'll delete out the top. Now, the more air we can cram in there generally will give us more buoyancy. You know, you think of your stuff and air in there. So I'm going to do some half blocks. Now, this does two things. One, it weighs less. So let's actually back up. We'll go full floor, full ceiling. Let's look at the weight. The weight is uh, 1482. Okay. So 1482. So one thing, these blocks weigh less. And they're also allowing more air in this volume. So it's causing the creation to weigh less and to put um, more air in there. So it's 1482. Let's do the bottom, and then we'll we'll weigh it again. And so this is another way you can increase uh, buoyancy without without having to do the glitch. Now again, the negatives of the glitch are at any point the devs could decide that they want to patch that out of the game. Um, I I find it pretty doubtful that they're going to do big physics changes. I know people are still calling for big physics changes. I doubt they'll do it. And the reason that I doubt they'll do it is because they would break everything in the workshop. You know, there are so many builds that if they change the physics, they're going to break things in the workshop. So that is definitely something for their next game to do different physics. Um, it would just be too detrimental. So right now it's 1482. As you can see, it's 1159. So you know we had um, over three over 300 um, weight reduced. The black line right about there is where it was last time. Let's actually get more precise here. So let's go. I'm gonna do a paint block here. Paintable indicator. So that was right about here was where the is where we were um, floating before. Let's go ahead and put it in. So as you can see, by adding those half blocks, we shed about 300 weight. We um, also increased the amount of air in there. And if you look, you notice how it's now floating about where the pivot glitch was. So you can use the pivot glitch. The pivot glitch does have some issues. Uh, it can cause some physics problems. But you actually can get pretty close to it by doing things like half blocks. Now, if we want to do half blocks on all the walls, we could even get this to float even higher because we'd be dropping the mass. So these are all some tricks to try to understand the buoyancy. Again, um, you know, use glitches with caution. They could easily get patched out. So hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.